I'm done with interacting things. I just want to look at some real like things that I can touch. I don't. I don't always feel not supposed to touch it, but you know what I mean. Lighting's a little weird. This is Scandinavian girl talking to me in that. And then she's like, "Come on, hurry up!" And I'm like, "I don't even know how to control this thing. They should at least teach you the controls." They just said to. Like, flip the switch to move faster, and I moved like an inch faster. This is very cool. It's like, come on, go faster. Well, I could not find anything in the shipwreck. It's just a bunch of rubble. It's like wood planks and stuff. I couldn't find anything worthy of taking a picture. And I, when I did take a picture, I just took a picture of the ship itself, and she's like, that's great. And then when I took a picture of anything else, she said nothing. Even the scuba diver. <laughs> that's a relic. Taking a long time to construct. Hmm, <laughs> what is this? Ship some fish. Hmm. I, I, I really want to know if these are like actual recovered things. Like if, like they're actually, you know, like real they actually found them there this is just models sometimes they're not very clear like is this a model is this real i don't know like vikings in the early 1900s a well-preserved viking ship was found in the burial at Olsberg, nor in norway by building a replica of the ship and testing it you can learn about how the original ship was constructed and how it sailed Ooh, okay it's very thin, by the way. I don't think it's very... I mean, I guess at the time it was effective, but like nowadays, no. Just no. Oh, look, it's a little... Uh, micro, like a little... Um, digital reconstruction. The Bremen cog. Hmm. Okay, uh, stormy weather. Yeah, he is surrounded by, um, surrounded by, uh, monsters. On July 1566, the Allied Dane Lübeck fleet encountered off, anchored off Gotland. Despite warning signs of an approaching storm of the 39 ships, 15 were driven ashore and destroyed. Several thousand people lost their lives. God. Yeah, don't sail in the Baltic Sea. Just don't. Alright, that's the lesson to learn here. Yeah, stay away from the Baltic Sea. Just fly over it. Even if you're in the 17th century, just fly over it. That didn't exist yet, that doesn't matter. Just don't go anywhere near it. If you live in Sweden, then too bad. If you live in the Baltic, then too bad. Uh, this place is cool and all, but, you know, I got nothing. <laughs> Is this the old harbor? Planning with maps. Carl's Krona, I don't know that place. Historical maps. Alright, I'm about done here. What? what? Yeah, I know, I've seen these models, but I want. What? Well, there's the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo, Norway for that. If you actually want to. Oh. But if there's so many on them, then how do you even. Oh, actually, I guess that would work. I guess. 
this is a very cool museum and all, but, uh, um, but I need to go and see the Royal Palace. Fun fact in Sweden, in the summer, it never gets dark. I, and I mean it never gets dark. It's midnight and it's light out. So, at least I don't have to worry about it getting too dark outside. Worn out warship juice for foundation for a bridge. There is it. <laughs> jump. 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 What is those? Jump. Okay, fine. How would you know that? Epilogue. Jump. Epilogue. I guess so. The curtains. Yep, here we are. In the beginning. And look, guys, it hasn't gotten any, any, um, it hasn't gotten any darker outside, even though it's raining. But still, you get my point. Oh, dang it. Let's go see the royal palace.